Good morning. Today is 5th of February. We're reading from Judges chapter 11. I'll read only um, four verses or five, 13 to 15, 23 to 24, but you can read from 13 to 24. And the king of the people of Ammon answered the messengers of Jephthah, because Israel took away my land when they came up out of Egypt from the Anon as far as the Jabbok and to the Jordan. Now therefore, restore those lands peaceably. So Jephthah again sent messengers to the king of the people of Ammon and said to him, Thus says Jephthah, Israel did not take away the land of Moab, nor the land of the people of Ammon. Verse 23. And now the Lord God of Israel has dispossessed the Amorites from before his people Israel. Should you then possess it? Will you not possess whatever Chemosh, your God, gives you to possess? So whatever the Lord our God takes possession of before us, we will possess. I love this account because Jephthah fought his battle by wisdom and knowledge. Israel was accused of dispossessing the Amorites of their land, and they came out to fight them. If Jephthah had not paid attention to the stories handed down through generations about how God gave them their possessions, the enemy would have dispossessed them. Fighting our enemies and fears with the word of God brings victory. In the temptations of Jesus in the wilderness, the written word was his weapon of warfare. You can read the accounts in Matthew chapter 4. In verses 4, 7, and 10, Jesus said, It is written, By submitting to God's counsel through the written word, Jesus resisted the devil, and the devil left. Jo- God told Joshua in Joshua 1, 8, to meditate on the written word and observe to do it, so that he will prosper in his ways and have good success. God cannot deny what he has said. He watches over his word to do it, according to Isaiah 55 from verse 10. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth and board, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Brethren, we need to hold on to the written word, meditate on it, and observe to do it. The the written word in our hearts becomes our weapon of warfare against the wiles of the evil one. When we speak the counsel of God, he hears and attends to fulfill his word. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. So you hear again from us, Tomorrow, remain blessed.